One of the absolute best things about blockchain is that you can create arbitrage-based crypto trading bots with flash loans that absolutely print money while you sleep. Like this developer who made over $20,000 in the last seven days, all 100% verifiable on the blockchain. But how do you make one of these bots that's actually profitable? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna show in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who's done this. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about how to create an arbitrage-based crypto trading bot. Now, if you clicked on this video, I bet that you probably understand what arbitrage is. Basically, it's just buying cryptocurrency on one exchange and selling it on another exchange for a profit. But you don't want to do this on centralized exchanges like Binance or Coinbase because by the time that you do the transaction, the price might move on you and the trade might no longer be profitable, okay? So what you want to do instead is use decentralized exchanges like Uniswap or PancakeSwap and create a blockchain-based trading bot that swaps across these types of exchanges. Here's why. So number one, these bots don't require any of your own money to trade. You can completely borrow it for free with flash loans. And number two is you can't actually lose any money on these trades or lose the money that you're borrowing because this bot is powered by smart contracts. The blockchain just won't let that happen. So how exactly can you do this? Well, I'm going to break down each step in this video, but if you to jump past all these steps and actually steal my arbitrage based crypto trading bot then make sure you hold your spot for the trading bot masterclass next thursday on january 16th inside i'm going to give away my flash loan arbitrage crypto trading bot and show you how to set it up step by step so trust me you don't want to miss this hold your spot with the link down below all right so step number one is to pick a blockchain that you're going to perform the arbitrages on so what you have to understand is anytime you're doing blockchain-based crypto arbitrage, you have to be on the exact same blockchain. You can't exactly effectively do cross-chain arbitrages at the time of recording this video. So let's look at some different criteria for a chain that you're going to want to select. Number one, the chain must have lots of tokens. Uh, number two, it must support lots of exchanges that you can actually find places to arbitrage between. It must support flash loans. So you can actually take out loans to do this. And then finally, it should be EVM compatible so that you can take your code and put it on many different blockchains. So if you want to get some ideas, you can go to a website like DeFiLama.com, click on the chains tab here, and you can see all the different blockchains that support these types of strategies. Okay, so obviously the number one is Ethereum with the largest market share. Uh, it's going to support Solidity smart contracts. But if you can write this for Ethereum, you can also write it for many other blockchains like Tron, like Binance Smart Chain, any of the Ethereum Layer 2s like Base, Arbitrum, et cetera, et cetera. And all the ones that I just mentioned satisfy the criteria I said a second ago. All right, so step number two is to pick two different exchanges that you want to arbitrage between. Because again, you're buying on one exchange and selling on another exchange for a profit. And again, these need to be decentralized exchanges powered by smart contracts that you can do this completely on the blockchain and the price can't move on you. So I'm gonna give you two examples like Uniswap, and pancake swap okay so why have i chosen both of these well for starters uniswap version 3 and pancake swap basically have the exact same code interface so if you can learn to trade on uniswap version 3 you can implement this on pancake swap as well lots of other reasons are that they have a lot of liquidity with lots of trading pairs and they're also deployed to multiple different blockchains and layer twos so if you understand how to trade on these exchanges you have lots of different places that you can do this but if you want to get some other ideas you can also go back to defi llama click on the forks tab and you can see all the different decentralized exchanges that implement this type of strategy so again if you can learn to trade on just one decentralized exchange and learn how to use that code, then you've unlocked the door to trade on multiple different exchanges. And that's what the fork is. Basically, forks are just software that's been copied from somewhere else. So if you go here and you click on something like Uniswap version two or even version three, which I just mentioned, there's over 134 different exchanges that use the exact same code base that you could potentially employ one of these strategies on. And you can rinse and repeat that for all the different forks that are listed on this site. And so once you've picked some exchanges, what you're going to do is essentially watch for the different trades that are coming through on one exchange and seeing if it causes a price discrepancy to where you can do an arbitrage onto the second exchange. So how can you do that? Well, basically, you can listen to every single trade that comes through the decentralized exchange uh, by monitoring the events. 
So basically events are just things that are emitted on the blockchain that anyone could subscribe to to get notified that that thing happened. And in this case, it's a swap event. So for example, Uniswap version three has a swap event that you can subscribe to. Every single swap that comes through, you can monitor it. And basically, if it caused the two prices to fall out of sync on these exchanges, where there's a big enough price discrepancy, then that's an arbitrage opportunity and that's something that you can capitalize on. All right, so step number three is to pick a token trading pair, okay? So people wonder all the time, like, hey, how can I research tokens to start doing arbitrage? Well, the first and easiest thing is to just look at the top tokens that are available on something like Etherscan, okay? So I realize this is just for the Ethereum blockchain, but many of these tokens are also going to be available on other blockchains and their market share in Ethereum is probably going to correlate to these other chains as well. So if you get Etherscan IO forward slash tokens, you can see, you know, thousands of different tokens listed on this page. That's one way to start looking at this. Now, another way is to actually use a DEX Explorer, like a DEX Screener or DEX Tools, BirdEye, GMGN, whatever you want to do. But DEX Screener is a pretty good starting point. Basically, you can just pick on the chain that you want to start arbitraging on. I just clicked on Ethereum for example purposes here. I sorted by volume and I'm just going to take Chainlink as an example. It's the number one at the top. So what you can do is you can take a token like Chainlink, you can search for it here, all right? And what you want to do is see that, yes, it has a lot of volume, at least on one exchange there, but it's also supported on many other exchanges on the exact same blockchain, also with a significant amount of trading volume. And once you verify that, then you've potentially found a token that's worth watching to try to jump on an arbitrage. Now, the final thing to understand about the tokens that you're arbitraging is that, of course, you know, number one, they all have to be on the exact same blockchain, like I was saying before. But in the case of this strategy, they all need to be ERC-20 tokens, okay? So what is that? Well, basically, this is just a standard that specifies how tokens should work. So if you're in on any of the blockchains that I mentioned previously, these are probably all going to be ERC-20 tokens, and you have to understand how this code works. So basically, they're just smart contracts that have these functions, like transfer, transfer from, okay, total supply... These are the types of functions that you're going to need to understand whenever you're doing these arbitrages, okay? So a final point here is you're not going to directly be able to uh, swap like native gas tokens to a blockchain like Ethereum or Ether, for example. You're going to need to use the wrapped versions of this like uh, wrapped Ether, okay? Or if you're going to do something like Bitcoin, you also need to do a wrapped version of Bitcoin, but these are all ERC-20 versions of those underlying cryptocurrencies. All right, so step number four is to pick a flash loan provider. So really quickly, just a recap of what flash loans are in case you're not familiar. Basically, this is a technique where you can borrow up to millions of dollars of cryptocurrency on the blockchain completely for free with no down payment, no money down, as long as you pay it back in the exact same transaction, okay? So um, if you don't know which flash loan provider to choose, uh, my preference is Balancer, okay? So Balancer is a liquidity protocol. It's got an AM, AMM, excuse me, but they also support flash loans, okay? So why do I like Balancer Flash Loans? Well, it's the easiest to set up. Basically, here's the template for it. You can basically copy and paste into your smart contract with minimal customization. Um, it has no fees for the Flash Loans. And then finally, it is multi-chain. So it doesn't do cross-chain, but it works on multiple different blockchains. So basically, it's got some pretty simple functionality. Here's the function that you call whenever you want to ask for the Flash Loan. And here's the function that you uh, put in your smart contract to receive the Flash Loan. And you just implement your code where these three dots are to actually do the arbitrage trade. All right. So step number five is to actually create a smart contract that implements the actual arbitrage trading itself. So you're going to want to create a smart contract that takes out Flash Loans. But then once it gets the Flash Loans, it actually needs to be able to make a trade between two different exchanges. Now, before I was saying you want to try to start off by picking two exchanges that use the exact same code interface. That's why I said, you know, Uniswap and PancakeSwap. And then what you want to do is learn how to make the trade with code inside your smart contract. So I'm going to use Uniswap version three as an example. So what you can do is you can just go to the Uniswap version three documents and say like, hey, how do I just implement a swap inside my smart contract? And here is the answer right here. Basically, you have to import the Uniswap you know, smart contracts into your smart contract so that you can actually talk to them. And then it's just some basic quote code to set up the parameters for your swap. And what you're going to do is use the exact input single, a swap exact input single function. That's what Uniswap version 3 uses to swap. And you're just going to you know, add these parameters, like what tokens are you trading? 
uh, who's the recipient of the funds, you know, when's the deadline, how much are you putting in, et cetera, et cetera. And then add that to your smart contract to do the swap on the first exchange. And then you're just going to do the reverse on the other exchange to trade the opposite direction to get more tokens back than when you started with. All right. So step number six, and this is the final step, is to create a searcher bot that actually watches for opportunities in the marketplace and then calls your smart contract in order to execute the trades. So what you have to understand is once you've created smart contracts that can take out flash loans and actually do arbitrage trades, the smart contract only does what it's told. And once you put it on the blockchain, it's not going to just magically start doing arbitrages. You might see like YouTube videos where people say like, hey, just copy and paste this code and remix and it's going to do arbitrage. Those are scams that are going to steal your money. So what you actually have to do is basically put a smart contract on the blockchain, but then create a second bot, okay, that lives off chain that runs on your computer that watches for the opportunities and then calls your smart contract to actually execute the trades. So you can see a diagram on my screen here. Basically, you've got a bot off chain and then on chain, you have your contract that hooks into both exchanges, takes the flash loan and then does the trade. So how do you create one of these bots? Well, the easiest way to do it is in JavaScript with something like Node.js. So what is Node.js? Basically, it's just an environment that lets you run JavaScript on your computer, okay? Because it natively runs in your web browser. So if you use Node.js, you can write just single page script that essentially runs 24 seven that watches for these opportunities and then calls your smart contract whenever it finds a profitable trade. So how do you watch for the opportunities? Well, it goes back to the events, like I was saying before, every single time a swap goes through on an automated market maker like Uniswap or PancakeSwap, it emits an event, okay? And that also has a price change. And if the price changes enough, you can listen for that event and then do the calculations to see if it's a profitable trade and then call your smart contract. So you can do that with a library like Ethers.js inside your Node.js script. You can see the code here basically for uh, monitoring events. Basically, it's the contract.on method, okay? You just tell it what event you're watching for and some extra parameters. And then inside that callback function, you can just monitor the data that came through, do the calculations, and then call the swap on your contract. Of course, you want to calculate the price difference for the swap with gas fees to see if it's profitable uh, in order to make the trade. All right, so that's an overview of how to create a profitable arbitrage crypto trading bot with flash loans in 2025. But again, if you want to steal my arbitrage bot, then make sure you hold your spot for the Trading Bot Masterclass next Thursday on January 16th. Inside, I'm going to give you away my flash loan arbitrage trading bot and show you how to set it up step by step. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Hold your spot with the link down below. So that's all I've got for today. Make sure you smash the like button down below and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp Diversity.